uh, well, uh, meanwhile, yeah. uh, Nigel's bank account uh, My drama God, what a day continues yesterday. apace. Now, the Coots boss, uh, Dame Alison Rose, has yes. written a grovelling apology, mm. a letter of grovelling apology very sorry. to Farage. She's very sorry. She's offering him new banking facilities. Uh, it's a total climb down, and uh, the left wing have got this totally wrong. They have been gathering around Simon Jack, the business editor yeah. of the BBC's, totally wrong story that the reason yes. Farage's accounts were cancelled, shut down, was purely financial. It was not. His accounts were shut down for purely political yes. reasons, and now the bank has said sorry. So, so nice try, lefties, yes. uh, but you lose. Well, once, once again, they got it completely wrong. And the bank tried to sort of fight back a little bit yesterday afternoon, didn't they? They tried to come out with a statement that said, you know, oh, it wasn't solely his political uh, uh, views no, that were the reason. We looked at a whole range of things, no. and then, clearly, from what is the, is the considered response from, from most commentators, she was told by the Treasury, you better apologise for this because we're going to come down on you like a tonne of bricks if yeah. you don't. And what Nigel Farage said last night was, it's all very well them saying we've offered you, um, you know, alternative arrangements in that West. What he said was they still haven't offered him a business deal. Mm. They've got a personal deal. Uh, so he's not finished yet. And there are now 10,000 people uh, who have formed yeah. a Facebook well, group this... who have had their bank accounts cancelled by Nat West. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and by the way, Coots's statement was a little more generic than that. It yeah. was that it wasn't specifically referring to Farage. No. It says we do not cancel people's accounts purely yeah. for political reasons. No. Well, hang on a second. So you do ca cancel so accounts you, that, that, partly for political yes. reasons. By the way, that's not right. This is a democracy. Nigel Farage's opinions are legal and valid. You yeah. cannot cancel accounts for this. And as I said yesterday, the government's threatening to bring in legislation to stop banks uh, doing this sort of thing, uh, saying that uh, in some cases uh, serial offenders yeah. may have their licences taken away. Right. I say uh, in one, you do it one once right. we take your license. And also, this committee that she says uh, does not represent the views of the bank was set up by, guess who? the very same dame. She set up the committee, uh, which was supposed to look into yeah. reputational risk and wealth of yeah. its individual clients. So for her to now say, oh, I don't agree with what they said, yeah. is patently yeah. nonsense, yeah. right? She also was hired uh, at the Royal Bank in the first place to continually change the image of the bank, to make it less <laughs> misogynistic, to make it more about climate change, to make it more about yeah. uh, all sorts of diverse and diversity related uh, things. So this is where it's gone yeah, wrong. But why? Why? What's that got to do with coup? Nothing. What's that got to do with a bank? When you take your money to a bank, you don't really care whether they stand against racism Not really. or they stand for the LGBT community. No, don't care. I mean, I, I agree with those two stances. I, I uh, stand against racism. I support the LGBT community. But I don't give a damn what my bank thinks about it. No. What do you on know that, earth do they think they're doing? Do you know that banks now calculate for you, should you wish to know it, your carbon footprint? Ah. I looked mine up last night and apparently last month I spent 849 kilograms of CO2. Well, how yeah, do they, how that do they, makes a lot of sense to me. How do they even know that, right? They look at what you spend and they make it up. Yeah. It's literally making what? up.